How you guys doing? And thanks for tuning in. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and safety emergency strobe lighting equipment for cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, service trucks like this one here, and everything in between. As you can see, we've got quite a number of things going on on this brand new 2020 Ram cabin chassis. This particular body is the 4500 Heavy Duty, locally made by a great company, Suburban Weldon, Welding and Steel. They manufactured their own bodies, and this is one of their service trucks. We had the opportunity to light it up for them. First thing you might notice is a little bit of help in the headlight area. Those are our Wicked Warnings headlights. Now this did work without any of the air codes because on the 4500 cabin chassis, the truck doesn't have any problem if you swap out a headlight. On the lower trim models, you may or may not get air codes. Email in if you have any questions. We did the low beam, and we also did the high beam as well. Nice, crisp 5K bright white color certainly be helpful all right a little straight on shot there as you can see we've got our wicked warnings auto flasher on a dodge you asked we listened we tried it it worked so here we go we got the uh, five cab lights I did it the easy way I grabbed the single wire I rapid flashed it and uh, we just grabbed all five at once I did explore into the center cavity up there on the roof and uh, it looked like we'd have to drop the headliner down to even access the two and four light so uh, we didn't do it on this particular one I like how it looks just like that in person it's a lot faster camera has a little issue picking it up on the mirrors and in the grill actually behind the grill you will see our thin X LIN series 2 in amber white it's a very popular light on this truck it's actually the only light we also ran three down each side and two across the back so we kept it simple it mounts right behind the honeycomb grill on the uh, front really nicely shines straight through it as you can see we synchronized the grill slowed them down a little bit we kept the mirrors synchronized but in a much faster more aggressive pattern you can kind of see the sides there also we ran three down the bedside and i just synchronized those together in a more slower pattern because as you can see quite a bit of toolage on the side of this truck so we want to make sure that they can get to their stuff without being blinded while they're working this truck has all the fancy factory switches so we were able to separate out the front which is the grill and the mirrors and the roof the sides which are on right now three down each side the rear which are the two in the rear we also gave them a real fancy flood mode so as you can see there when you hit the flood mode all the lights light up solid white there's two in the grill two on the mirror three down each side and two in the back that's 12 if you were counting total and we synchronized it in different groups because there is a sync limit of eight on these lights so as much as we wanted to synchronize the entire truck at this firmware it's not possible so we synchronized the bed synchronized the mirrors and the grill and then again the rear there's another shot of everything going here with the sides as well roof and grill and pull it forward and show you the back to start with, let's take a look at that backlit logo across the back end of the truck. It is a uh, opaque white plastic with red LED behind it. As much as I want to take credit, they actually did that. It came in this way, but it's very cool. Here's a shot from a little bit farther away. Uh, you can adjust the ISO and you can kind of see it a little bit better there. Pretty neat stuff. Alrighty, around the back, as you can see, kept it in theme with a pair of Thin X matching everything else we didn't do anything right down the center because most of the time the men are going in and out of the bed of this and working right off that rack on top or right through the center so the lighting wouldn't have been effective anyways um, so we kept it real easy you can see that flood mode also no problem in the back for anybody that's wanting to see what's around this truck I'll show you in just a sec flood mode down the side too very cool very nice easy system using all thin X lights and one auto flasher 